Good morning, everyone. We are back again. Another episode on the S10. We got something uh, semi exciting today. Nah, it's not that exciting, I guess. So, if we want to get this thing fired up uh, before too long, won't be able to start an engine without some electrical junk. So, this is the battery cutoff switch. Um, for in the NHRA in the NHRA rules and stuff you have to if you relocate your battery which I think I'm gonna put my battery right here in this back corner I think for weight distribution that's gonna be my best bet because you'll have the driver weight kind of offset to this side try and offset it again with the with the battery kind of make everything level and get this battery towards these rear tires and not up in the front that'll be one of my biggest challenges is getting all the weight back here where it's going to be useful weight not in the front where it's just a uh, weight that's not useful test my batteries right here uh nhra rules say that you if you relocate your battery you gotta have a battery shutoff switch outside of the body of the car so that if there's a fire or you wreck or something like that you're able to shut off the car from outside uh, somebody that runs up and they can turn off the car without having to get inside of it so this will be the battery cutoff switch it'll go right above it and I think I'm gonna try and I got two options here I can either cut out this shape and drop it down or I can go up from the bottom which I think is what I'm gonna try and do I'm going to try and uh, hole saw this diameter up through here. Now the challenging thing is this, the width of this bed rail that it's got to fit on is almost identical to the width of this, this uh, uh, cutoff switch. So worst case Ontario, if I mess it up, I don't get this hole cut perfect so where it'll line up and come through here then I'll just cut it out and drop the whole thing in and it's no big deal. Since there's no good way to mark this hole where it needs to be, I went ahead and marked, I got these two, the bolt holes here and the other one, got them marked, uh, got them lined up where the circle will fit on the underside. And then I marked those two points here and there. And then I'll just go right dead center hole saw and we'll, uh, We'll see where that gets us. All right, so as I feared, it is not going to work from the underneath. Uh, it hits this wall in there. I don't know if you can see it. It hits the side of this. So that means we get to cutting, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and try the sawzall. It's probably not going to go very well, but we'll see. Well, it's definitely not my best work, but uh, it's kind of what happens when you have to make a plan on the fly there but that thing fits in there all right i scratched it up and putting a coat of paint on it right now so hopefully it'll look a little better in a second so we got the last coat on here it's it's all right it's when it dries it'll blend in with the rest of this i hope should but so that's uh yeah not very happy with how it turned out but hopefully we'll get this uh switch on there and it'll cover it up and we'll never have to think about it again. Cutoff switch is in. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Not super happy with it, but whatever. That's something I just thought about. I guess we'll see if it's a problem later. If you're going down the road and the wind hits it like this, will it? Flip it? I don't know. Now the next bit of wiring that needs to get done. So the 
battery. Like we said, which will be back here. Have a hole drilled through here and the battery cable come through, through the back of the truck and then right to here. And then I'm gonna have this distribution block right here. And that's gonna be what's gonna take the large gauge, the or the small gauge, but large wire and uh, convert it down into a bunch of smaller wires and I'll have a bunch that run to the bank of relays which will probably be like here or something and then uh, a bunch that will run up to the dash so I need six total and I'll probably put them off a bunch of the same screw because I don't have a ton of screws I think yeah there's only eight on there so six maybe three take up two screws three rings per screw and then those will need to run up those wires will run up here probably up this bar and then those will go to the dash the control panel i just installed we need five powers for all the switches and then one power for the start which will go back to the relay so i'll need five or six wires from there to there and then I'll need six more that go from there. Some will go back here, some will go to, it, it'll be interesting, we'll see. Some of the switches will just go directly to, they'll just go directly to whatever they're gonna power. So like water pumps and like fuel pumps will need a relay, stuff like that, cause it draws more amps. But like if it's, if I got a switch that's just for a light or maybe a switch that'll make my trans brake uh, live or something like that those don't those can just be in line because um, like the trans brake will have its own solenoid and stuff like that so so it, it'll get a little complicated now and it's never anybody's well, i guess if you're really a freak about wiring but it's not my favorite part that's for sure but it's got to get done So my camera kept dying, so I don't know how much I got there, but I got these four uh, wires. Um, probably, I just need two more run up here to the front. Um, and then that'll finish up those. I, uh, it's kind of hard to run these wires without this thing solidly mounted. So I ran to the hardware store while my camera was charging. Got some uh, self tappers that I think will work. To hold that guy down and then that'll help me run this i don't have any loom so that stinks i'll have to buy that another day but i'll need some wiring loom to cover these all up and for now i'll just electrical tape them together so they're all it'll be a lot nicer than this but and then i got some zip ties while i was out because you can never have enough coming off all taped up you saw the mess before it's looking a little better now so those are all gonna run up to here and with these blue connectors it's gonna tie into these bottoms that go the bottom black lines go into the fuses the fuses jump up into the switch and the switches will go into these red lines and these red lines will go out some will go back to the relay board like I've said which is not there, but it'll be there. And some will stay out like the ECU one. This one is gonna be for the ECU power on, so that'll probably stay. Um, and then these lights up here are jumpered into the top of the switch with that through that little red wire and then go back through this to the ground on the cage. So hopefully that'll be a neat little functional board. Right now, since I can't really tie it to the cage yet without a loom, um, I 
move, I will finish the ends of all these wires and then run them into the bottom. Okay, so for now, I got it uh, zip tied in a few places just so that I kind of have an idea of how long I'm going to have on this end, which is way too long, but that's kind of how, you know, kind of how I planned it just to make sure I didn't have to make any wires again. But so it probably won't stay zip tied like this forever. Hopefully, I'll get the lumen because. All the wires that are running back will run through the loom too, so then it'll look a lot it'll look a lot better like that. So I'll trim these guys down and throw them in, see what it looks like. today um kind of running out of time here so but we got all the positives to the control panel ran from the distribution block and so i feel pretty good about that um next we need to run a battery cable a hot battery cable up to this guy and then from there, we need to run one from, from the underneath of that through here to the distribution block. Then at that point, we'll have power to all the bottom of these switches so we can run, start running power out to the, uh, out to the devices such as the headlights and stuff like that. So, and we'll be able to test to see if the, <laughs> if the lights work because that's what really matters. Um, but yeah, that's about all I'm going to have time for today. If you like the build, if you're interested in watching, please subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we're, uh, going to get some time over the winter to work on this to get it knocked out before next summer so that we can drive it around a little bit. So thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.